see. So today I am here with Emery. From Emrick. Emrick. Yes. Sorry. No Emrick problem. from Noble Glass. Yes. And I am going to start with just a few little questions. Fire away. Fire away. Your company name again is Our Noble Glass. Yes, it is. Noble Glass. How long have you been in business? We've been in business for almost 10 years now. We're actually just celebrating our 10th anniversary year this year. So we're really excited about that. Sweet. Happy Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a hard road, but it's been worth it. Why did you start your business? I wanted to keep blowing glass. I got out of college and I didn't really want to get a suit and tie job and work at the bank. That was my backup. I wanted to keep blowing glass. And so I was fortunate enough to be able to work with a lot of my friends. And we said, let's do it. Let's make a go at it. And here we are 10 years later. What are what products do you make, and what is what is their name? Well, we make them all. We do all uh, hand blown soft glass bombs, and we have a whole big long product line. But we specialize in hand blown bombs, so we don't do the little stuff, the pipes and the bubblers. Those are all done on the torch. We do the furnace work, and we make everything from a little uh, ten inch tube all the way up to a big two foot guy with dichro and marble attachments and everything else in between. What can, are your two sorry? Products? Can you can you go more into detail about the difference of soft glass and explain what? Soft yeah, absolutely. Glass is? So soft glass and hard glass. All, hard glass is also known as Pyrex or borosilicate, and it originally came out of a uh, need to have a high temperature resistant glass, like for cooking ware, etc. And so that was the type of glass that was used for a long time historically, you know, for your, your uh, oven pan that goes in there. And in the 70s, they found out that that would also make a really good implement for smoking weed or tobacco out of. And so that's how borosilicate got started. Soft glass comes right out of the furnace. It's a lot more, it's like hot lava. It comes out of the furnace, it's molten. You're working it on the end of a blowpipe. You got less time to work it because it cools down a lot faster. And it's a really free flowing artistic process. And this is the kind of artistic process that was pioneered and really made famous in Murano in Venice, Italy. Um, uh, a couple thousand years ago and you know there's glass masters the tradition came from there and really branched out and got to the United States again around the 70s and made its way to glass uh, studios and colleges all over the place all over the country where it is today and we've been lucky enough to carry on that tradition and dabble in the hot fire that is hot and soft glass. Wow. I think y'all are probably one of the biggest people out there with soft glass as well. For soft glass, yeah, you don't see a lot of American-made people doing it. And I think that's unfortunate. You know, I wish there were more. It's actually a little bit of a lonely thing. But, uh, you know, a lot of it's gone to China, like a lot of other industries and professions and jobs and products. And we do the best we can. You know, that's kind of always been a low-end race to the bottom for that stuff. And, you know, that's not fun anyways. And we wanted to do a fun thing and make really nice stuff. So we stuck high-end. We made that commitment from the early get-go and that's what we've been doing is making high-end stuff there are high barriers to entry it's really expensive to run those furnaces they take a lot of gas and you know that kind of I think keeps a lot of people away and it's just not being taught all over the place like ceramics is so you know I'd like to see more soft glass companies come about I'd like to see more collaboration more innovation and I hope that that's possible in the coming years what are your two top products two top products right now I would say are our flowers that's number one we're getting a lot of notoriety for those flowers it's a really nice uh, sculpted piece we got a really talented guy by the name of Robert Green he's one of our top artists and he make he's the one that does the flower portion of it we all do it as a team and the flower meets the bong at the end of the piece that it gets put attached to the bong but that's those are gorgeous they're unique and they've been getting a lot of really great reaction from all of our fans so I would say that's number one and then number two, I would say, is just our small with wrap. That's our entry level piece. We have it in the glass on glass and the non glass on glass. And that's just what we've blown out over the last decade, what we've sold the most of, because it's a very simple yet effective piece. And our thing is we, go, we try to kill it with color. You know, we have so many different colors and varieties. So we've got, you know, that one product in really as many colors as you can dream of. What is your top, what is your design inspirations on your product? Oh, design inspirations come from all over the place, but really they're just whatever looks good. Um, I mean, really, it's color is the main thing, and so we, you know, we pay a lot of attention to attention to what are the latest color trends out there, not just for glass. In fact, usually not for glass because glass historically has not done color too well. But you know, what's going on in the fashion world? What do people have on their clothes? What do they have on other accessories? We look at that. Um, 
it's like the, the, the Pantone list of colors for the year or something like that. They always put out the newest colors. So we're looking at that to come up with new color designs. And then there's a lot of tried and true traditional things in glass blowing, like dichro, dichroic glass, that's the really sparkly stuff. Um, the flowers like, that I mentioned, the marbles, you know, we see it is a big collaborative process. So we see what other people are doing, what other artists are doing. We got a lot of artists. We have all artists that work for us. So it's what do they want to do? Some of them specialize in the traditional Venetian um, Murano techniques. And so that's really cool. We have special lines in that. And so we kind of just follow our passion is the short answer to that question. Beautiful answer. And y'all are in Oregon, correct? We are. Eugene, Oregon is the birthplace of the American glass blowing industry. That's where Bob Snodgrass got it started for us about 40 years ago now. And we're very proud to be working out of Eugene. Eugene. And where can we purchase your products? All over the country. You can definitely look. over at Elevate. Uh, yep, at Elevate, definitely. They're one of our best retailers and we really appreciate the work that they do. And, um, but we're in head shops all over the country, so look us up. If, you're, if we're not at your local head shop, contact us and we will tell you where the closest place that has it is. But go look at Elevate. They've got a great selection down there and really they'll, you'll find our whole line. You'll find something you're happy with down there. So that would be the first place to check. Do y'all have any new big products that y'all are going to possibly bring out soon? Any new colors of glass or yes. anything like that? Yes, I'm very glad you asked about that. We have, we just came out with a uranium UV, also known as Illuminati flower. So the flowers are really popular. The UV has been really popular. We've been putting those together. We've been doing these jewel cup marbles. That's another one of our featured artists. His name is Bandini Silverado. That's his artist name that he goes by. And he does beautiful faceting work. So we're going to take some of those higher end ones and do collaborations. So we're going to have a UV faceted marble. That's going to look amazing. I can't wait to see it. Robert Green, who does the uh, rainbow ones, he's going to do a rainbow marble. We're going to have Bandini facet it up for us. It's going to be an amazing collaboration. That's what I love. That's the pinnacle right there is when we have our top artists doing what they do best, you know, with the company name under it and all of us working together. Yeah. So stay tuned for those things coming out soon. Sweet. And our last question is, do you believe in aliens? Say that one more time. Do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? Well, you know, I'm not sure if I believe in aliens. We're in Las Vegas right now. We came in through Nevada in the desert and we saw those government planes flying into that weird little abandoned airstrip on the way here. So, you know, what would they be doing if there weren't aliens? So yes, I believe in aliens. Okay.